Welcome to Unrolled, episode number 34, coming to you uh, recorded live in the studio audience at the Rosewood Heights location of AP Cigar, and uh, my name is Mike, this is Chuck, we're going to smoke, unroll a cigar, smoke cigars, and then uh, you got something you want to say already, huh? You got uh, yeah, right, right when we got the audience, we're going we're gonna to smoke a cigar, unroll a cigar, and talk about nothing. Talk about nothing? Nothing. Nothing. So, Leo. Yeah. Having shout, s- shout out to Leo. Uh, he's having surgery today. Yep, having so, surgery today. So, by the so time he watches this, hopefully he's home recovering. Positive vibes for Leo. I don't pray, Leo, so positive vibes for Leo. Um, he shared us on a uh, group. And, right. um, I, you know, just did like he does, you know, support. Right, yeah. And, uh, and somebody said, well, you know, hey, uh, what do you like about them if, if – uh, if you just want to hear two guys talk about nothing, you sure did find it. Oh yeah, about and, a, about our uh, yeah. So I went to uh, reply, all right, and um, not badly. Like sure, it, I'll take the criticism. I mean, right. we're, we're new. Criticism's important at this point. But I, it won't let me reply. It'll let me reply, but then it says pending, and it just forever says pending. So uh, I don't know if the group funny. is yeah, they admin get, approved. Or yeah, whatnot, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I wanted to uh, address the nothing. So I don't, you know, I went to ask the guy, you know, what what would you have us talk about? Right. And, you know, what, what you know, we want us to talk about in climate change, COVID, well, politics? Well, since it's no. a cigar podcast, they probably want you to talk about cigars. But if you don't see in the title, what's it, what's it say under Unrolled? The Worst Cigar Podcast. Right. This is literally cigar talk. This is normally what you hear when you go into a cigar shop. Like a couple guys sitting around smoking cigars, talking talking shit. This is exactly what we do. We just This is just a conversation of what's happening right. around town. Uh, things that are coming up, events here's, that are coming up. Here's the thing. And here's the thing I was going to tell the guy. Yeah, we talk about nothing. You can turn your brain off. You know, I, we're not trying to get an emotional response out of you. We're not trying to get... We're you, not, can, you can literally just turn your brain off and have a cigar. And it, every once in a while chuckle because we call the idiots that painted a mural on a brick... No, on a street. Idiots. You know what I mean? Right. So, yeah, we talk about nothing. And, and, and I'm more than happy to talk about nothing. Seems real pretty. Nothing at all. There's no point in bringing any of the rest of this shit up. Everybody's tired of hearing about it anyway. You know what? Seinfeld had, what, one million episodes of nothing? That's about yeah, what nothing, we have. Nothing. Or, you know. Nothing. Never... Do you want to hear about politics? Go watch Oingo Boingo or the or the Bush twins, the Shrubbery twins, whatever their name are. Paul, name is. I'm Paul Logan all the way. Yeah. I go, have no go idea. Go watch that crap. I don't. I have no idea. Turn on CNN. You don't need that here. You just turn your brain off, enjoy your cigar. Yeah, we've never really been, and we never will be. You know, we'll touch on some things, especially if it's local. Um, We'll touch on some little local stuff that, you know, especially if there's, you know, if it means something to us. But otherwise, you know, my my overpriced iCar is not going to light. Is that what you're suggesting by putting that $10 fucking afterburner? I know know it's not going to light. That thing's going to light right now. It's been being terrible. Damn it. It's going to light right now. I can get it to light. No, I know, no I know you know what? I think this should be the whole entire podcast. It's just, just trying to light that Zycar? Yeah. You want to see nothingness, mother? Well, I'll show you nothingness. Well, to be fair. To be fair. That Zycar has been here for six years. Oh, yeah. It's been dropped. It's been, yeah. It's It's been probably dropped after being trying to be tossed from one person to another. Can, so can technically you, thrown. Can you see how dumb I am? It overruns, too. I literally put it to my ear. I can't hear anything with these headphones on. Ah, uh, see? That uh, show's over now, folks. That Zycar has been abused. Horribly abused. And the fact that it still works even when it wants to. It's kind of amazing to me. So, you know, I'll... I'll I sometimes get mad about Zycar stuff because it is pricey. Right. But then I look at the stuff that has literally right. been here. How many lights does that have? I think that's in the testament. Like that, no, uh, it is. Like that cutter. Yeah, well, this cutter too. This has been sitting yeah. on the counter for six years. It cut this thing without one fray. Yeah, I think. I mean, there is 
there, there is such good value. Uh, this this segment is sponsored by Zycar. Uh, the, <laughs> there is such good value in these high end cutters and lighters. Leo was showing me that one that uh, it's like an apple core or, or something. Mm-hmm. The, the ball mm-hmm. and like it looks like a V cutter, but it cuts the ball out. So I, I I'd try it. I don't know. I just like a guillotine cut. Just cut it straight for me. So, but yeah, no, I mean, the V cutter that you use to, or do you use the chopper? I use the chopper. Yeah. So the V cutter that's on our counter at the store has been here six years, thousands of cuts. I take it to events. I cut thousands, you know, just so many cigars. And these things, do they, they, they still work. They're still sharp. It's still, I mean, this is a hundred dollar cutter, which to me sounds ridiculous. It sounds absolutely ridiculous. And if you can hold on to it for six years, right, you got your money's right. worth. Because it still probably has another six, seven years in it. Probably. I mean, there's zero. Everything about this thing is still fantastic. You can manage not to lose it. Right. That's the key. Right. You know, so, like, it's easy here because it should just sit on the counter unless it walks away. I have uh, that little silver cutter. Yeah, the V cutter. No clue where the hell that thing is. I just had it. I I took it. That's the one I took to Florida. I have no clue where it is. Is it in a cruise? Yeah, it might be, actually. I haven't looked in her car for it. But, um, that little black cutter is what I've been using at home. And, uh, and, and I know right where it is now. And I usually I don't know where it, that one is. That, that one, that, that spring assisted one. Oh, like yeah. The, like the bronze one up front. Yeah. And usually I don't know where that one is. About nothing. That is what we are about. Right. Absolutely we're, nothing. Yeah. We're, what's what's the point in talking about that shit over and over and over and over and over and over? What should we talk again? about? Like the heritage of this tobacco. It's just some made up. It's some made up story. And that too. I mean, uh, how? Why do you have to feel so important? Garbage. Do you need time? to talk about about the cigars? People, you're just smoking them. You don't know. You. We could make this shit all up. You don't know. That McMurray makes it up all the time, and we don't know. Speaking of McMurray. McMurray sent me a sent me a text. Canceled again. Yeah, sent me a text. So we didn't we didn't like tell everybody. So we we'll go ahead and tell everybody. McMurray said, uh, you know, he's like, hey, he's like, uh, you guys podcast on Tuesday, and I said, yeah, this is yesterday. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it was Monday. And so he's like, all right, cool. I'm gonna come. I got cigars to cut, smoke, or, or cigars to unroll, everything, blah blah. I said, yeah, right on. Let's do it. And then last night sent me a text saying that. Uh, he can't, uh, can't, did something come, oh, so he's got somebody working on his house, and they literally hit some, like, crazy line, and, like, there's a, it was rather water or gas, you know I don't retain things. Nice. So, at whatever it was, it is, like, all hands on deck emergency right now, so. Well, what can he do? Walk around in flip flops and. Well, I mean. He stroke pro- his beard? I, no, I think what he did was he took all his dick skin. And he threw it on whatever was leaking oh. to stop it. Yes. Because those shirts will stop and then leaks. Now, and he didn't have a shirt to wear. Right. And he didn't have right. a shirt to wear. And he didn't want to be, you uh, know. What's, what's he going to do? Explain to them the history of the cigar he's smoking while they fix it? Maybe. Maybe. I mean. Maybe. So, you know, and this wasn't meant to be and never will be <laughs> a serious freaking cigar no. podcast. I mean, no. if we, when we have cigar guys on here, we literally say, shut up, nerd. Right. To them, turn your brain off and, yeah, just, and just enjoy the the dumbness of it. This is this is what this is for. It's just a couple guys that are just literally struggling through life, just talking about it over a cigar. I didn't know, I didn't know we were supposed to get all technical. Right. I can tell this cigar was rolled on a we'll on talk, a on a Wednesday. You want to talk about aliens? What do you want to talk about? I mean, uh, I, I'd I like don't... to I'd like to talk about the people on the other side of the moon that control all this. Well, they're Nazis. So Nazis. I actually, seen, I seen a documentary about it. Well, it is. It should yeah. be Nazis. Yeah. Well, it is. I seen a documentary. So let me. Uh, Had a dinosaur in it. I got so many things going through my brain right now because I've been watching uh, Stranger Things every night. I finally. Uh, oh, did you start from season one? Yep. 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 We uh, we have the seventeen day uh, last episode. It's like two hours plus. It's two, it's, yeah, it's like two That's hours, ten two, minutes. Yeah, two twenty-five, two ten. They so insisted on watching that in Florida. Oh, really? The night before we left, and she didn't start it till like ten thirty. I was pissed. Wow. I was mad. I, like, I got to get in the car and drive all day tomorrow. Thanks. This is 
This is awesome. Thanks. So, <clears throat> yeah, no. So when you said Nazis, it's that I went back to the Stranger Things because that's been our that's kind of Russians. Our, those are Russians. Well, yeah, the Russians, but because yeah. it's supposed to be in the '80s, so those are the Russians. Mm. So what season are you on? We are on season four. We finished the second to last episode last night. I literally have zero. Like, I'd like to see how it ends, right? Right. But also, it's the most drawn out, holy shit. It's, yeah, they didn't do a very good, I don't I, know. I, you know, it just, I'm, st- I'm too impatient, man. I'm impatient for everything. Yeah. Um, so, you know, anyways, so I'm, I'm watching a little bit of that. So we have, I think we're going to watch like half of the last episode tonight, maybe. Because, I, dude, I can't go to bed. I, I'm pedaling at 7 a.m. tomorrow. Just so. watch it all. You know what? Well, yeah, if I get home at I 3 p.m., I can. They did a good job at, on the uh, the satanic panic of capturing that whole thing that happened in the 80s. Because I remember that. I remember it was everywhere. I remember it. Yeah. Um, it's funny how... Uh, look, so D and D had in in those board games, right? So those were those, you know, the people that didn't play those. That was rotten the kids' mind. They're gonna worship the devil, right? Right. right. So fast forward. Well, it to was the, devil worship. So follow, wa- go up to the next generation, and it's the video games that yep. we blame now because we're not playing board games anymore. Right. So maybe it's your effing parenting. Right. I don't know, but Might maybe be. maybe it's your and parenting like thereof right right so you know let's blame let's blame what the kids are into you know i was into uh, hot wheels you know so maybe that's why i stole cars and and right. you know throw money at cars and that shouldn't have money thrown at them right because i threw you know because i because i loved hot wheels right with your 80s previa right you should you should right. do a whole stranger thing stranger no. things theme Wrap on that previa before we give it away. No, I'm not giving to it the one thousandth subscriber. I'll, or, gi- I'll give that one away if I go down to Oxley and pick this other one up. Well, is it? Did you ever get a message? No. <laughs> so, Facebook Marketplace. Just, uh, I'm conflicted on what to do because because there's a bunch of them out there that are solid. Is the one in Missouri? I don't know. You don't know what solid is. When someone says no rush, you don't know what that means. Right, right. But I can't see it on the body panels. But the one I have is rotted bad right, right. on the body panels. But the floor, the underneath is solid. Right. So if you were to get the all-wheel drive supercharged version of that, what what would be your plan? Depending, Still the same thing I'm doing. Right. So you would slam an all-wheel drive mm-hmm. supercharged one. Mm-hmm. So if you get one that's cleaner... So you shouldn't really put any money into this one until you collect them all. This is the new Samurai. Well, I just found that they were so, they're so cheap. Right. I mean, some of them are cheap. Right. When, when they're not running, they're cheap. But then I can't find running in decent shape, clean, 4500 Right, up. right. 4500 up. Hey, thank you. My truck is Ow. one million times better. So I appreciate that. I don't know what if it was just. They're not selling for forty five hundred, but people are asking that for. Nothing them. is selling currently. Right. I had this conversation with Ginger. Uh, I was looking at. Uh, I was looking at reports yesterday because I like to be depressed on Mondays, so I was looking at reports, and uh, so last week and this I'd, is. I just quit looking for a while. So <laughs> well, you know, no, I, I mean it. It's last got, week was terrible here. Yeah, and yesterday was terrible here. It was a fifty-eight dollar day. Yeah, last week Josh had a fifty-eight dollar day last Wednesday. Yeah, I think. yeah, I know. It was sixty-three, I think. And that was only because he was like, "Why?" I ring out that one because uh, I, I didn't want it to look like we did nothing. You know, so mm-hmm. <laughs> so well, there's, um, but you know, so I looked at last. Um, I was looking at last week. I was looking at kind of the cash flow in Alton just to make sure. I guess not to make sure everything's right, but, you know, for that store is doing more volume. You know, it's doing more sales. Oh, yeah. Obviously. Well, it's going right? to. Yeah. We knew it, you knew it was going to. Yeah. We knew abso- it was going to. Yeah, absolutely. That's why that's why that's why that store was supposed to have been there. That's why this store was supposed to have been there in the first place, you know. Yeah. So, but I was looking. So, I wasn't, I'm not worried about that store, right? I was, But I had it pulled up, and so I went to this store for last week. And not to compare store to store, because that's apples and oranges. It really is. But to look at it for what this store did the the year before, same week. And 
weather plays such a huge role in cigar sales. If it's 100 degrees, not a lot of people sit outside and smoke cigars. They just don't. They just won't have a cigar. So I was talking with Ginger about this, and the, you know, we were 70, I took a picture of it, 70% down from the week, the same week the year before. 70% lower. 70. That's not just weather. That's not just weather. So there's a couple of things in play, and this show's about nothing. So, you know, just whatever. But our economy is literally, it's hitting us right now. I guarantee that's 30%. Do you know what would be up right now? You know what would be up over probably over 200% right now? What? Pawn shop. Almost. It's getting there. It's no, really getting I'm, there. I bet we'd be, I bet we'd have been swamped. Well, only if we had the money to loan. Right. That's the whole thing. That pawn shop never actually really had money. It had some cash because we had to have cash, but it never made money. Yeah. We, there's not enough people on the street. The streets, this street is stupid. When I was telling the guy, when I was telling the guy that where to go to get his truck lowered, you know, I said, you know, hey, we'll, we'll, we'll fight, figure out which kit's best for you. You buy the kit, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so we, uh, he got, he, he's like, well, where's that at? And I was like, oh, it's Rosewood Heights. And he goes, where's Rosewood Heights? I was like, well, it's between East Alton and Bethalto. He's like, oh, I don't go to East Alton. Right. You know, and I'm like, right. Um, shit. You know, so I mean, so let's take, I guarantee we're, we lost 25% around there, give or take, right? Just for proximity. So the Alton Godfrey people are going to go to the Alton store. Yep. Um, so there's 25%. I haven't seen any of them either. No, because they, they're going there. Right. And But here's the neat thing. They're going there more often. They're right. spending more money because it's more readily available. Right. So that's increased sales total. So it's not that store versus this store, and it never will be because they're two different stores, two different locations. The same dick beaters have been driving past these windows for the last six years. They, they still think the pawn shop's here. They still think it's a, fuck, a motorcycle shop or a, a car shop or whatever. You know, they're, they're, these, these neighbors here, they're, they just have blinders on all the time. There'll be somebody that comes in who literally lives down the hill, not right. even far down the hill. Didn't know you were there. Didn't know you were here for six years. Right. You know, well, I'm glad I spent all this money on marketing. I'm right. just going to pull back all that marketing. If you're not going to know where I'm at, if, if half the population still doesn't know, that there's two cigar shops in town. So it's amazing what 10 minutes will do. Right. You know, and it's just because there's way more traffic. There's 60,000 cars a day that go through <clears throat> that intersection that are now, you know, going right past that cigar shop. It hasn't increased sales any. We're not any busier. But there's also, it's just, you know, we're on the way to a golf course. Right. You know, there's a, the Lock Haven course on the River Road. In the river road itself. Just the tourism alone. I mean, it's literally a, a, the perfect spot, the perfect size building. And it's good. It's lo- lower overhead than, you know, it, it could be It could be more and I would still have to pay it because it would still be worth it. Well, it's not really lower overhead. You, you pay less a month. But look at what all is here. No, right. Here, so. here I pay less a month and just because we're, you know, we're subletting, you know, part the back out. So, but, you know, th- this, that's the only, you know, this overhead here is low and that's what keeps us here. We right. just need to, I, I, I would like to, and I've, I've been thinking about this a lot, especially over the weekend. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind trying to bring some cars and cigars back. Well, yeah. I mean, but where here or down there? Here. So everything here. I'm talking about Tuesday night poker games up here. Right. You know, let's, let's. Let's get involved. Let's, you know, let's see if we can put some people, you know, and I get so discouraged when I try to have an event and like four people show up. Cool. You know, and then I'm like, oh, I don't want to do events then. You right. know, well, if I, if I stopped working on my first business, you know, stop trying to own a business, I wouldn't own a business and I would actually have money. But, uh, sometimes I miss them paychecks, <clears throat> but you know, so it's like, so that's been my, that was my weekend thoughts. I took the weekend off. Uh, I went camping. Uh, Leo knows because he, you know, we're friends on the Facebooks. Uh, well, I don't know why you think about it at all. I wouldn't have thought about it at all. No, because that's how my brain is. I, I don't stop thinking about it. So, 
you know, when, the only time I didn't think about it is when I was hiking and there was dinosaur birds flying around. I, I've never heard a bird with such a deep voice. Some crane that just, and I'm, I'm not going to try to scream in the mic, but he goes, Ugh, and I'm like, what the? I mean, my hand went in on my Kentucky? pistol. Yeah. It was a gray, weird, pelicanish looking bird. Really? Grayish. In Kentucky? Yeah. They got bobcats down there, too. Or black panthers. That's what they got down there. Well, are they black pant? Well, I'm sure they got some black panthers down there. Um, no, it's Kentucky. Are they are they panthers or are they uh, cougars or mountain lions? It's jet black, so I don't know if those species come in a black. I don't know either. So uh, my friends Brian and Nicole that uh, have a place down there, they were out hiking or walking or whatever. Is hiking just walking with a backpack? Yeah. Okay. So they were... They in, the, were in the worst terrain you can find. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's like instead of flip-flops, you wear shoes. Right. Okay. So they were probably hiking then. And uh, they came across a den with, full of skeletons and literally saw the cat. A huge black cat. Like, not a household cat, but nice. one that's taking down... There was several <clears throat> dead deer... And then a den full of bones where they're dragging it back to eat. Nice. So they're telling their buddies that are there. And, and you don't go down there to, like, sober up. You go down there to drink beer, right? Right. And it's... so they, after a few beers, they're like, well, hey, let's go check it out. Right. So they went back. Right. And then everybody saw the cat and the den and all the bones. And so there's something. Could have been a pet that got loose. I mean that's really uh I mean, not that's a, that's not a really huge, not a huge cat. Uh, well, I mean you never know. I mean there could have been a train wreck from the circus. I, right. I mean shit, you don't know. It's not right. like the media is on top of their shit, you know. Right. So this show's about nothing. Look how much we've covered. Right. Hey, it's a nice day today too. There's your weather for- forecast, you fuck. If Donald Trump had released that panther or whatever out there then the media would be all about it there you go now there we're getting go. Now, yeah look, there you go yeah now there's we're your getting politics. there yeah now we're getting there there's yeah. your politics yeah you know what you're the spark that's gonna make this show blow up that's that's what it is i mean you know need the criticism i mean but it's supposed to be about nothing so to quit taking shit seriously oh You're hey. gonna die and then you know 100 percent of the people that take shit seriously they die yeah yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, they all die. All the people that take everything way too seriously, they all die. It's dumb. Oh, the new highway. The new highway is so butter smooth. Oh, it's dangerous. Yeah, how fast it's you dangerous. going now? Oh, I get between uh, AMS and in Slimmers right there. Oh yeah, I get up to I've I've hit over sixteen. Really? Just in that spot, dude. That's big yeah, time for you. It's. it's it's so butter smooth. So I got the closed down. Carving. I mean. Uh, uh, I got the closed down highway uh, coming out of downtown. And then. So, you know, what's fun is like, I wish I wish I could capture like what I see because I'm riding around just massive excavation equipment, you know. So like there's there's buckets bigger than I am and I'm right. on the one wheel, you know. And so it, it's so uh, industrial. And then you get out on 67 going north and it's eerily quiet. Like, it is, like, zombie land shit. Like, there's no... How far they got it closed all the way up to uh, Alton Memorial? College, yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, so, here's... A St. Anthony's yeah, Memorial. Yeah. Yeah, St. Anthony's on the corner there. So, I've been going when I when I ride home. So, one day I rode the closed highway, and then I took that shoulder, because that's a big shoulder, and it's actually pretty nice. I took that shoulder to the Oakwoods, like, behind Jack in the Box. You can go there that way. And then I went home, and man, what a terrible! There was, I didn't like it. it, it the road was it's narrow, oh, yeah. no shoulder. You know, yeah. uh, then you come up behind Jack in the Box. After that, I was okay, but that's kind of a little stretch right there. So, uh, the last time I rode home on a one wheel, I went. Uh, I took that highway all the way down to where Blockbuster used to be. Oh yeah. Then I went left, went up there uh, to the highway to the Belt Line. And then I just rode the belt line home. I cut through into Quick well, Trip. That's got a nice big. Yeah. Oh, big, um, damn, 25 minutes. This, this show about nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Stop. Stop. It's got a nice big. Um, big shoulder. Um, big shoulder. Yeah, it's real nice. It is. 
All right, stay uh, stay tuned. We're gonna. Welcome back, episode 34. We need a second commercial. Yeah, we need to make another commercial. Uh, you know, we got a view out there. <laughs> it won't do burnouts. You don't think? What no. if we what if we chalk the rear wheels? No. E-brake, chalk the rear wheels. I doubt it. Uh, we throw some soapy water down. I, I had th- another idea for a, for a commercial, though. Yeah? I did have another idea for a commercial. So. You want to talk about it now or later? Uh... I kind of hard to explain. Okay, fair enough. I had another idea for a commercial. All right, we're gonna get some ghosts involved. Right. Yep. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, so I've been riding that way, and it's very peaceful because there's less traffic because there's less people driving that way. Right. So there's still some traffic, but it's less. It's probably like ten cars that whole road. Like ten cars will go past me. On the uh, on the sixty-seven highway. highway. Yeah. Yeah. And in the bell line, I was kind of nervous, but I was like, holy shit, this, I mean, shoulders, I mean, as wide as a lane. It's really nice. I mean, pretty close to a lane. And then uh, I kind of tucked into a quick trip so I can get my view to cross. That's the only sketchy part is crossing it. Yeah, crossing uh, Godfrey Road worse, right there. Is it, it's, it is probably worse than up here where I cross when I go to Bethal- when I go through. From, when I leave here to go through Bethalto, I go, you know, Mary Drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's probably worse than that. That gets pretty hairy, though. I've, I've. I've ended up stranded in the middle of, on that one before, a couple times now. Well, I got a I got a stoplight. Well, you do too. I got a stoplight, and uh, but I didn't. I went through Quick Trip so I could go with those people, right? And then get back. And then the shoulder down Delmar was fantastic, you know. So really, it was it was pretty nice. I kind of cut through to that side road where Dixon Distributing used to be, and then right. uh, I just ride that side road down to the neighborhood. So, right. No, I've been enjoying it. I got mine in the car uh, now. Uh, I'm going to, I got the wrist guards down at the Alton store after this, after I order cigars. I'm going to go down and meet with Emily. And we're going to get her on the board. You, I don't happen to have your charger in the truck, do you? I do have my XR charger in the truck. I need to plug mine in yeah. for a little while yeah. then. Yeah, I got, I got, full, leave. I got a full charge. So, yeah. Because I'll be back up here tomorrow anyway to grab cigars for Alton. Um, <clears throat> Um, yeah, I, I just, I don't know. I, I'm way, getting way more comfortable on it. It's the problem. I, I've been going to start wearing my helmet. Well, that, down the highway, IDOT hasn't come through and actually put stripes on the damn thing yet. Oh, shit. They just got them temporaries. Right. And them guys are, they're, they're riding the curb on that one Ooh, side. Oh, shit. Yeah, they're riding really, really close to the curb. Where was I at? I was somewhere. I, was, say, I don't know if you and Jeff oh. noticed yesterday, but I was hanging out on that street. I was just kind of hanging out, waiting right. for traffic to pass for an opening so I could shoot out. Because there's nothing. That's the only place to ride through there. Right. There's nothing. Yeah, because I think 140 is probably worse. Because, I mean, that's, A, they're, they're building their speed up. Right. Uh, they're coming off the 70-mile-an-hour, 65-mile-an-hour highway. Of, some of them are on meth. Yeah, yeah, your meth, your meth to sober ratio is probably kind of high. That's another thing we can talk about. What's that, meth? I think meth heads should be their own race. Ooh. I think we should just declare them their own race of people. Really? They've got their own culture, yeah. their own communities. Their own chefs, their own kitchens. Yeah, I think they got their own thing going on. I and bet you. I think, they're, I think they should be considered their own, com- their own people at this point. I bet you the meth community is more affluent than our regular communities right now. Because the, all the, the dollars stay right there in the circle. Right, right. <laughs> Their culture is is a rich bicycle culture, mm. and it's it's just um, remember we uh, he was a customer and uh, we we started getting him when he was first going downhill. Uh, I'm not gonna say his name. Um, it, I knew him from high school. Okay, and uh, uh, it's not the one I sat in jail with. Right. Um, it was the other one. I always pawned Hilti tools. Mm-hmm. You remember him? Mm-hmm. Well, he is living in a house now that has no walls. Because they tore all the electrical wire out and all the plumbing. And so it, the house is condemned. Right. Uh, it just takes county forever to knock stuff down. Sure, sure. 
And uh, um, but he's riding around on this big fat tire bicycle, and it's a nice fat tire bicycle. Nice. And and I want it. Right. Because I want a fat tire bicycle. Right. So and I know he didn't pay for it. So <laughs> in my mind, right. Fair, fair's fair, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, in my mind, knock him down. I, take mean, it, buddy. I don't know whose bicycle it was That's to the, give it back to him. That's what the view is for. You know what I mean? You're just uh, you're temporarily ha- holding it until you find the proper owner. Right. But I've been I've been kind of looking for him. <laughs> now I'm gonna see that son of a bitch out and I'm snagging it. And because he's just in the neighborhood back there, and I can get there and back, right. no problems. Right. So, so I, uh, I was kind of, kind of watching him to see where he goes when I see him out. I, I was riding an e bike from here to the Alton store, uh, that second e bike, right? And so, it has this little brake issues in the front. They work. They're just constantly like rubbing or something. So I got to adjust it. I got yeah, all the tools. They just need adjusted. So anyway, I'm, <clears throat> I think it was dragging because I had a little, little less power than I think I should have. So, anyway, I'm riding up on the berm. I got all the way down there. I'm on the berm, trail by trail. And down on the shoulder, there was a guy riding a chopper bicycle. Right. And I wanted it so bad. I, I'm like, I'm going to go trade him. <laughs> was, it a, was it a big tall? It was super tall. Real long stretch in the front. Yeah, and was the dude super tall? Kind uh, of a goofy dude? He looked like a goofy dude. He rides that son of a bitching thing everywhere. Really? So, yeah, he builds them himself. No kidding. He rides them It was everywhere. a good-looking bike, he's, man. He's been hit twice. Oh, I bet. Yeah, he's yeah. been hit twice. I think it was, like, raked out. I mean, it, well, the bike, the frame was raked out, but, yeah. like, I think the front tire is a little bit smaller. I don't know, man. Yeah, it was, yeah that's him. It, yeah, that's him. It was cool looking, man. He's a nice guy. He's, he's a really nice guy. I was like, man, yeah. I want that bike. <laughs> yeah, he's a really nice guy. I was like, I don't even ride. <clears throat> well, I've, I've been riding my bike, but I don't. I was like, I, I wouldn't ride that thing around. It's pointless. So I just, them fat tire bicycles are expensive. Mm-hmm. So. They suck to ride, though, man. I don't, I don't. Have well, you ever rode one? This one's like a beach cruiser style. Oh, it's even worse, man. Quads would be killing you. Really? Yeah, it's why, a huge, why would they be? heavy bike. Why would they be? I don't understand them up here. In Florida, I understand them because they're for the sand. sand yeah right I, but i don't understand them up here but. well you know it's we got the, we got that style like way later you know right but why didn't we have it at all and what are you using it for i don't know why is why is your truck lowered and my truck lowered and you have a japanese fan yeah i mean fair enough teach their own fair enough. i bet it's under the bridge in the creek because there's a apparently there's a <laughs> is there a little camp down there's there? a little camp hmm. in the creek under the bridge and uh I was talking to uh, Travis about it, and he goes, yeah, there's some girl down there. I heard she's charging $5 to stay under her bridge. And I was like, well, you can't be mad at that. No. You got air. <laughs> the, troll, the troll's trying to make money now, bro. You can't be mad at that. I can't be mad at that at all. Because I was like, I'll go down there and run them out. You know, you can't have that. But you can't be mad at that at all. No. No, we it's a good location, really. I mean, you got you got the gas stations right there. Yep. You got all the catalytic converters you can steal right there. What, what do they say on that Facebook page? They they don't call them catalytic converters. Oh, I don't. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he calls them all kinds of things. Yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah, you're talking about Metro East. Yeah, he calls them all kinds of things. Pontiac retroverters. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Something like that. All right. Just hit this. Guy's fantastic. We. I'd like to get that guy on the show. He is fantastic. <laughs> I'm gonna reach out. It's like, dude, do this terrible podcast with us, right? Bring your wit, <laughs> right? The guy's probably the funniest guy on the internet. Probably not. No, I think there's, he is. There's way funnier people than that on the internet. For for what he does, your buddy, I follow your buddy's page. I think he's your. I think it's your guy, your buddy anyway. Uh, had the newspaper. Now he does uh, the scanner page. Oh yeah, yeah. That's your buddy, ain't it? Uh, yeah, I know him pretty well, Chris. And uh, he was on there that Oakwood shooting. And he was on there talking about, I'm not going down there, it's dangerous. And he caught a bunch of shit, right? Right. For saying it was dangerous. There was a shooting. Right. How, how is it racist that it's dangerous? Ah, it's, I didn't see that. Come on, man. Right. And uh, come on, man. Come on, man. Let me get my sunglasses. And uh, there's your, there's your uh, more, second dip into politics. More politics. Bud. Come Bud. on. Come on, man. Right. Let me fall off this stool. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh. He was talking about the other day. He was gonna do some live stream and go to and go to some, uh, go. You know, I almost I almost commented, dude, you want to go to a shooting in Oakwood? What are you gonna go to? He's gonna do some live stream and go to some scanner calls. You right, know what I mean? Right. So go go look. Oh, you want to go to a shooting? Nobody wants to see a traffic stop. 
I think it's sad that... We want to see the shootings. I think it's sad that tragedy gets more love than positivity. That's your news media for you. I know. Here we go talking about nothing again. Well, and then who... Like, but who... Look it's at the manip- people that go it's, for it. It's manipulation. That's why. It's pandering. It's manipulation. It's pandering. They are manipulating. Everybody you. wants to see the negativity. All them guys on YouTube that talk about that stuff, it's manipulation. They're, they're getting an emotional response from you. Right. To, to, so they can make, they're making money off your emotional, right. they're like an abusive. Yeah. So they spouse. did a, they did a study there showing, it was overseas. They did a study, and I might have talked about it before, it, it just really sticks with me. But uh, they did a study with um, soccer fans, like devout soccer fan football, right? Uh-huh. So they would show their team, they had all these sensors up on their face. They would show their team scoring goals, just clips of their team right. getting goals. And they would smile, of course, you know, right. make them happy. They would show their nemesis team failing, and they would smile way more. Oh yeah, way oh, more. Yeah. People want the people the thrive violence. off. They thrive they off violence. that. Yeah, they thrive All off the that time. negativity. And the, inter- the, the internet only wants violence. This show's about nothing. The internet only wants violence all the time. Well, what 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 you know what I watch on YouTube besides funny cats? I watch fails. Right. I watch Phil's. Oh, dude. Car accident. Sorry, I'm on. So Ginger's got me on this new YouTube channel, and it is, um, it's like wavy boats, and then there's another one. It's this inlet in Florida, and this inlet's got crazy waves and people. It's like it's heavily trafficked, right? Oh, it's it's boat fails. Boat dock well, fails. So, yeah, it's just people with million dollar boats, just struggling to go somewhere. And then last night I was watching, the, so a lot of these boats have like quad, you know, 300R engines on them, right? I mean, right, just bad, right. bad motherfuckers. And then, so, uh, but there's this, there's these two girls and they're riding like a John boat with a 50, like a Yamaha 50, one. <laughs> and it has like this blue, uh, this blue be- uh, Benini top on it. And they're trying to get in like the ocean with it? Yeah, yeah. No, they go, right? So they just run this inlet back and forth. These girls, and they look probably 17, 18. They look super young, right? They just had to have grown up like this, right? These girls are sending this boat in the air. Like, they're just just beating the snot out of it, right? So the the YouTube person called them the blue top legend because their, their Benini top was blue. <clears throat> These girls go get a flag made that says blue top legend just for this YouTube channel. And then they go and they just... They, I mean, they're running circles around these, you know, these old guys with these fancy boats, and they're they're going out like jet skis. I mean, they're just ripping apart. And uh, so somebody, uh, I was watching last night, and there's little captions, right? And somebody said uh, that somebody tried to steal the Blue Top Legend, so they couldn't they couldn't get it stolen out of the slip, so they just pulled the the drain plug. Oh, so it was like so the engine was underwater, oh. right? One of them. So now it's had engine problems, and they're like one like last night I was watching and it had it, but I like you know look how these kids grew up. Like one this of them, is I a, can't have it neither can you. Right, people. right. So th- this is how these kids grow up, though. You know, this is probably like their little dinghy for the right. kids to go out. But these kids are going out like the, the, it's a the, John boat. Uh, it's like a it's John boat. Be bigger than that. It's a little bit bigger. Like you can sit two side by side, and then there's a like a little front bow. Damn. Right. I mean, it's small. It's got a steering wheel, but it's Damn. small. So it's like a small fishing boat with a 50, which for around here, like if we were to take that on the river, it's fine. But they're messing with swells that are six, eight feet. And then she's launching out of it. Launching. This girl has no fear. She is like, I, man, I wish I grew up in Florida like that. You know, to where that's your, I mean, the, the brain damage these kids are going to have just from hitting the waves over and over and over right. is going to be fantastic, you know. Right. But they don't go out to try to be cute. They're going out to have fun. They're right. going out just to blast this, this inlet. And they'll go out to the, about the ocean. They turn around. They come back in. And they said going in is the hardest. Like, there's a lot of, like, small boat or, like, if you're underpowered, you won't even be able to get in. Like, they have to call toes. And uh, last night I was watching where two kayakers got – freaking flipped over like one got flipped over i don't know the channels are fantastic there's like two or three channels based just on this one inlet two or three different people are making Damn. money on this one inlet just watching boats but there's good editing and stuff like that so the one guy tells you what kind of boat it is and right um there's some of them i mean just you know you're you're looking at millions going through this you know and then it's like you can tell like the 
the people going out for fishing, you know, so they're like not from Florida, and right. so they're wearing like all all the fishing gear, and then like the waves will come over and just just nail them, you know, and they're like, oh, I'm all wet, and I'm like, you're in the ocean, bro. Right. Like, what would you expect to stay dry the whole time? So yeah, it's kind of been my my new thing is watching that. Ginger found that. I've been watching it with her. I got a uh, Instagram pages, uh, kids getting hurt, uh, girls who slam. Oh yeah, I've seen that one. And uh, I saw that. And of one. course, America's Got No Talent. Yeah, that's where I saw it from. Was America's Got No Talent? And yeah. then I, I spent a day watching all those videos on girls get slammed. Yeah. Oh, there was Dude. a video last night. They're sliding down this concrete road, some some third world country. Right. <laughs> sliding down this concrete road. It's wet. It's right. all wet. Right. And this dude smokes a truck. Just bam, smokes a truck bumper. They're on their ass. Really? Smokes a truck bumper. Smokes his head off the concrete, oh. of course. Mm. And then his, it, it keeps filming because his two buddies are coming down behind him. He doesn't, his foot doesn't, because you can still see his foot right. sticking out from the tire. Oh, doesn't shit. twitch a muscle. Knocked out. That dude is uh, probably dead because nah, they fine. were hauling ass down that. So how are they sliding down a concrete hill? On their butts. It's a nice, smooth concrete hill. And I don't just, care. Just, it just was sounds... raining and wet. Oh, okay, okay. They might have had like a mat or something on them. Okay. I don't, I don't, it just you, seems like... You would, don't see that. just seems like you would wear through your clothes pretty quick. You can't. You can't. I couldn't see if they had a mat or something under them, but they're on their... They're sitting on their butt, whatever they're on, and he just smokes this bumper face first. Oh, it looked like he might have got his arm up, but that still... No, that don't matter. That still hurts. If you're going 30 and... You, you know, you hit your face to a bumper, or you hit your arm to your face to, to a bumper. bumper. <laughs> right, it's still still knocking you out. Man, that one was that, and and I watched it a few times because I was watching to see his, you know, maybe his foot twitches. Right. No, his foot did not move, not at all. So, have you smelled this cigar? Could you? I haven't. I, I mean, you, you can't smell it smoking. Do you have a good sense of smell? Yeah, I got. A, terrible sense i hate my sense of smell i can smell everything typically i could smell that that uh, filter though i never tried it wasn't thinking about it either it smells like what's that smell like it smells kind of fruity mm -hmm. why does it smell kind of fruity Why does it smell kind of fruity? Because it's conditioned. What's that mean? Basically infused. Oh. Mm -hmm. They infuse it? Mm -hmm. With what? Can I don't you? know. Yeah, I don't know. If I did know, then we'd be like every other nerd ass podcast. Can you taste podcast. it? A little like, bit. Like, a little bit. Like on the sides of the tongue, if that makes sense. So is that what the Ligoria Cubana, is that why it tastes no. kind of? Because mm. the Ligoria Cubana tastes kind of. Uh, it's got a, it's got a like a sweet kind of taste to it. Which one? The short ones? Yeah. That we have. Yeah. No, it's just regular tobacco. It's got like a sweet taste to it. I've just might be I've the noticed it. Might be the blend that they have. <clears throat> no, these are. Uh, so what? What I'm smoking on, and what we're gonna unroll here, <laughs> is someone has proposed. Uh, they have a bunch of these cigars. This would be a blend specific to us that I'm smoking here. And they want to come out with a quote unquote ultra premium line. Ultra premium, which just means really expensive. Um, so there's a whole backstory to it. Um, we don't want to, we want to keep this podcast about nothing. How expensive? Um, probably five times what I'm paying for peacemakers. That's. <laughs> So it's, it's different. It's not worth it. It's different. It's now, not worth it. Now, that's five times, but that's a 12 week turnaround. From the time I pay to the time I get it. But it's not worth it because you can't... Well, it's Boxed. supposed to be a 12-week turnaround with Boxed. whistle dicks, too, and it's not. Well, it probably is. We just don't know when they're going to start. It's right. probably 90 days after they start, when right. they feel like starting. So, I've come to accept it. So, triple cap. I can see it here. Uh, maybe a double cap. But it's... You can't... There's no money for it. If I want to spend $20 on a cigar, it's not going to be some whistle dick cigar. It's going to be a Padron. There you go. That's my... That's my argument with it. So then... So... So let's think about the math here for a second. And, you know, I know this show is about nothing, but... We got five minutes. 
So let's we just more than that, and we got plenty of camera. So let's let's go. Well, till our next commercial. So you know, in the industry, you know, there's a certain profit margin everybody tries to make on their own cigars. <clears throat> when you get into the higher dollar cigars, you make less percent but more dollars. So if we only sold twenty dollars cigars, we'd be killing it. But we sell a lot of five and six dollars cigars here, right? Because make less it, percent, but more dollars. Yeah. So How does that makes sense. So let's say we sell cigar A and we make uh, a dollar profit, and right? We, and we sell one hundred of those a week, right? So, but if we make five dollars profit on this cigar, no, oh, right, right. So the percents aren't necessarily going to be the same, but the dollars will be more. I, My problem with this whole thing is is the cost is way too high. Now, is the cigar different, unique? And way too high. Yeah. The cigar is definitely different and unique. I, I have a tongue tingle. There is still some, some fruitiness to it. Um, I was really hoping, and I got more, so I'm going to wait for uh, McMurray to come through. I, I want his. He's, he's probably the most knowledgeable tobacconist that, right. I, that I know. Right. You know, that I talk to a I'll lot. Pull the rest of them out. So. <clears throat> he was supposed to come through today. Fucking McMurray. Right. So I'm smoking the... That's why we call him McMurray. Right. Are they all that same? I'm, I'm believing so. So I'm smoking the full body version right now. And it said it was a three inch. Literally, this piece of paper. Let me move this. I do like this pad. No, it's they're five, all the same. Five by 50. Yeah, they're all the same. Is it strong? It's not turning my stomach, but that could be the, uh, how do I say it before, the conditioning of the cigar. Don't, they, don't don't. Like, they don't like saying infused because uh, Drew Estates uses the word infused. Yeah, but it is what it is. Right. I mean. It's pandering, though, to get money. Whoa, that's weird. Did that do a weird snap the yeah. first time? Yeah. Yeah. Get that ASMR. What do you call it? Yeah, no, you're good. So there is the. They nine, all smell the same. Nine, nine inch. That thing is dumb. Nine inch. I think it's dumb. When Leo gets feeling better, we'll go down and smoke this with him. So I'm kind of excited to. I do like the little bubble wrap packaging, though. And, like, you had to get this made. You can't go to, like, Michael's and find this baggie. Right. Right? I kind of wish I was still in the still in the uh, little D boy game because I get I put one gram in this. <laughs> you got a you got a nine a, inch a nine inch cellophane. A, you put one gram in a, the corner. It's a pixie stick. <laughs> right. Yeah, uh, they're all they're all the same. They all smell the same. Yeah. So, I, I, I due to non competes and stuff like that, I can't say where they're really coming from, <clears throat> but. Um, so I don't know. It's it's something that's, you know, if I had the money, maybe I'd play around a little bit. There is a minimum that I don't like to, too. but it's just so much money, and it's not worth it. They will not sell. That's a ass ton of marketing, mm-hmm. and then no money for at least ten years, probably. For a long time. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a long time of marketing and trying to get them out there and no money. Yeah, the long game's really not for us. <clears throat> right now, the short game's not even for us. Put it over here. No, I just, that's... Fantastic packaging. Though. Ridiculous. I really like how he... It's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, I'm with you. Because that's... What, what will that put us... The, one of the cigars at? Like 20 bucks? Yeah, $20 retail. No, I could smoke a 64 Principe for that. No, I'm, I'm completely with you. No. So, but this is, you know. And I know, I know I'm going to like that. You know what I mean? Right. I and know I'm going to like that. So imagine your guy who's going to spend $20 on, and you know what a $20 cigar gets you, right? Right. So, and then you buy this thing for $20 because you like the marketing. And then you get this infusion, basically. Right. How pissed off are you going to be? How pissed off are you going to be? I just well, think, now, I don't I know. I mean, you've got them guys, that, that's all they smoke, though. Mm-hmm. So, they come in and they buy them by the buttload over there. And well, and 
you know, and they're used to those higher prices. You know, we have fifteen, seventeen dollar acid cigars, and it's not as sharp as an acid. It's almost like the Deadwood series. It's sweet like that. I've never had one of them. It's, it's not bad. Try, try the if you're gonna try one, try the Sweet Jane. I'm not going to. It's the mildest of them. Sweet enough. Yeah, sure you are. So, I'm not going to. I thought about so we got a little box of the Milo Del Souls by the counter. Yeah. And I couldn't find uh, the ten of Cohibas I had out. Uh, I couldn't find them. Yeah. So I almost smoked one of them, and then I didn't. I uh, just got a different. All right, one more commercial break. We're going to... Welcome back. Episode 34. Unrolled. The Seinfeld of Cigar Podcast. Cut that bitch up. Yep. We're going to unroll a $20 <clears throat> cigar. <clears throat> so if you're just catching in on this one, we uh, this is a cigar maker who is trying to get people to basically sell cigars for them. <clears throat> so you create the marketing. Um, you know, they're, they've been watching Table 36 marketing. They're like, hey... Well, let's get you an ultra premium brand. And this is one of their sales pitches. Tell me if you like this. So if I have, let's say a uh, store buys some of these from me, right? Right. Their pitch is, so I have this one sitting here at 20. This one's not 20. This The nine inches, is $20, right? So let's say this is $18. That will be $20. Retail. Retail. At the store. So, and that's, that's me making less percentage Right. But probably the same dollars. But right? trying to sell it. Right. So right. Gotta sell it. So you got to get a retailer to pay, let's say, $15. Right. So they can mark it up $5. Right. Right. So anyway, their, their pitch, one of the pitches is, besides it being an ultra premium, I'm using those words specifically, but their pitch is if I have this box of cigars sitting next to my other cigars that are cheaper, then the cheaper ones will sell. Right. It, there is truth to that psychology. Well, yeah, there's truth to that psychology. Mm-hmm. This one's cheaper. Right, I get that. Mm-hmm. But if you're going to do that, then you can just order integrity back in. And then mark and it up mark $20. integrity up. <laughs> and not be in so deep. And not be in at deep at all. Right. That's, uh, Smell it after that cut. That doesn't make no sense. It smells like, I don't know what that smell is, but it smells like, I don't know. It's not really fruity. It's like a vanilla smell. You're getting vanilla? I don't, I mean, I'm not, I don't mean, that's an extract smell is what I mean. So I used to know a guy that, that would buy garbage weed. Right. And then spray it down with like blueberry extract. Oh, nice. Orange I, extract, shit like that. I did Dr. Pepper syrup. And then, and then let it, and then he'd let it dry for, you know. Mexican. And then and then he would try and say that it was you know this fancy and all it was was headache weed. Because right, you got a headache from smoking it. So I would do I'd get the Mexican weed and before you start calling me racist, it was from Mexico, so it was Mexican weed. Right. And uh, after you got the bird feathers and the sticks and shit out of it, right, uh, we would do a little mist of the Dr Pepper syrup. So it smelled like Dr Pepper. No, it smelled like them twenty three flavors. Oh, oh yeah, you oh. couldn't put your finger on it. That, that maybe that's what they're doing here. This could be Dr Pepper syrup. Right. I am craving a Dr well, Pepper. It, it's, so I tried to tell him one time. I was like, "No, dude, you're dumb. Just buy, you know, crack. Just buy an O of the good stuff and mix it, and then mix it because it's gonna. It's so punching. It's gonna make the whole bag smell like it. And right, then right. It's like glued. You're spending like two dollars on some extract, and people are getting headaches. You wonder why they're not coming back. (laughs) So they they did not give me any descriptions on like what leaf this is. Well, no, because they don't want you to take their blend yet, right? Right. 
Yeah. They told me that I'll have exclusivity to this blend, so no one else can have this blend. So I guess See, that doesn't smell like it. That doesn't smell like it. No. Interesting. No, I don't smell it on that. So it's whatever is in the Let me get closer. Nothing. Shows about nothing. Nothing. This is the greatest show on earth. <laughs> we are the number one cigar podcast on in Rosewood Heights. Leo, make sure you tag that guy so he can understand why we talk about nothing. So he gets it. You just shut your brain off and enjoy your cigar. Chuckle at the stupidity of the nothing. Hey, <clears throat> while I'm unrolling this, I'm going to say uh, rest in peace to Yvonne. She was really a, she was a good person. She had that car wreck down in Jamaica. Yeah. So I went and put flowers in, at her store. Kind of teared up a little. I don't really tear up at all. Well, that whole situation's sad. No, it is. It's just whole a sad situation. I get a little bit here on the binder. So it's the, it's the inside that's, that's whatever. Yeah, I smell it here. A little bit. But it's closer to the filler. Oh, yeah. It's not a podcast till Golden Tea goes off. Super loud now, too. It smells different now. We'll see. No, I still smell it. It smells... I don't can't pin what it is, though. I'm, like, huffing it because I'm trying to figure out what it is I smell. No, it takes time. Shows about nothing. So rest in peace, Yvonne. I'm gonna miss you. I can't <clears throat> pin what it is. It's like a. So you know, I I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about something. Does it taste good? I'm gonna I mean, say is I, it I, I a wanna, good cigar? I want to say yeah. I, I I like the taste. It's different. Well, at least it's good tobacco. That looks like good. That's. Look, look right. At, Jesus. I think that's the best one we've had come apart. Look at that thing. I think that's the best one that we've had that's to come apart. I guess I should show a camera. We only got one camera. What was that? That was the bird. Oh, on, on the gold, game? On Golden Tee. It was, it's going to continue to get loud. So as humid as this cigar is, fresh out. This thing's almost wet. Feel how wet maybe, that is. Maybe that's the... Oh, yeah, that's totally. I wonder if that is the... So, is it my imagination? You know, I'm, I'm just going to... The Golden Tea's kind of kind of doing us favors right now. Is it? Is it my imagination? No, that's loose filler. That is garbage. Yep, that's garbage. That is so garbage. That's super premium garbage. I can't believe what I'm looking at. You just lost your sale. That is disheartening. Yep. That's garbage. So that's and that was the so I guess that was probably a second binder that came off. Yeah, and that because that was the best. Yeah, best looking binders ever. So off. I don't know. Are you able to zoom in on like the camera? Like I probably could right now. Right. Like I'm. This isn't dry. This is uber moist. It's probably the yeah. wettest. wettest oh yeah, yeah. That's it's. And then it's wetter than my old lady. <laughs> Shows about nothing. <laughs> uh, this is uh, probably the most disheartening twenty dollars cigar, eighteen dollar, fifteen dollar cigar I've ever uh, unrolled. Does it taste good? Yeah, it still tastes good. It doesn't change that. But this, thank you, Golden Tea, for the uh, studio but, audience right. in the background. This is I. I didn't crumble that. That's how it came. Yeah. No. I, yeah. It's and it's was too wet. Did it want to crumble anyway? Yeah, it's so yeah. I bet I bet this table thirty six, which which was dry as shit. I bet it wouldn't have crumbled like that. Like this came out of it. That's really sad. So if you're, how much time we got left? Oh, I didn't start it. Oh, yeah, I I forgot to start it third time. So we're at fifty here. You want to cut one of these open and compare them? Yeah, let's do that. I'll turn golden tea down and grab one. No, you can't. Don't don't touch it. It'll get super loud. 
Just let it be. Good, uh, good job, Zycar. All right, so we got a little. Is this bullet? Yep. All right, so we That's got a little a bullet. bullet. And we'll post. Uh, we'll post this. We'll take pictures of this, and put it on the podcast. I'll do it right now, actually, or on the uh, Instagram page. If you want to see what was in that super premium cigar. Yeah, we'll separate it. Yeah, that's. It's trash. Mm-hmm. It's really sad. I felt like it was kind of scammy, but now I feel more like it's scammy. And I can really smell it now, too. Yeah. Yeah, I can really smell it. Sir, it got louder anyway. Well, it's our theme music. We need to just embrace this. You want to put it side to side, or? It doesn't really matter. We got enough room. Be cool if I get this wrapper off. Good job, Placentia. Or I guess I can just throw it away. There we go. Look at that. Right. The shake is unreal. Wet. Right. The shake's even wet. Mm -hmm. And now we've we've dissected one of ours before. Yeah. So we know. I don't know what episode it was. Leo, what episode was it that we dissected one of ours? <laughs> uh-huh. We know, we, you, we know how that comes apart when we take our time. But Right. I'm kind of speeding through it. Yeah, just trying know. to get to the filler. Just trying to get to the... the and these are really, really dry right now. Cause, so Yeah, because I accidentally ran out of distilled water on the humidor. <clears throat> just for a few hours. Yeah, but these dry out real bad. Yeah, they're no they, so. They dry thing. quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you leave it out for a little bit, and it's all right. Wish I could have done that in the first one. All <laughs> right, wrapper's done. Let's see if I can just. I'm just like quickly trying to get to the filler. All right, filler's done. Or filler's done. You know, I cleaned the tray off for a reason. Oh my bad. Sorry. <clears throat> I mean, All right. You should title this. Uh, you should title this. Uh, I'm butchering this. <clears throat> yeah, you're just destroying it. I am. <clears throat> Twenty dollars cigar unrolled. It's sad. So here's our filler. Like so, this part stuck out. Right. And then I'm literally manhandling the hell out of it. Yeah, and, and it's they're really, really dry. They've been dry. Should grab one out of the out of the out yeah. of, of walk in. Because I'm gonna do the same thing. Out of the storage. Yep. Yeah, but that that's dry. That was wet. That right. was that was even that if was it's wet, so I'm wet. breaking it, but it's still wet, pulling wet. out whole pieces like i can see the whole piece here right i'm gonna break it whenever i pull it apart so like here's a whole piece minus what i just right broke off and then here's like that's a whole piece i mean the binders came out nice the binders really nice on that like this is so this is the smallest one of the peacemakers and this is still one bunching right here Right. This is what was in right. the other cigar. So to where I have tobacco that's this long, then I have tobacco here that is, and this was a little bit bigger cigar, and there's hardly any pieces there as long as the shorter cigar. I wish I would have taken my time a little bit on that. And that one was dry, <clears throat> and this is, this is like, Super, you can still feel it. Yeah, it's, it's still wet, wet, wet. wet. And it's not biasness. Mm -mm. No, you what what you watched is you know like we got to dis disinfect 
Hey, uh, that's Jeff, I think. We, we, just, did I say disinfect? Dissect. I dissect a, uh, cigar that somebody wants. Super premium. Ultra. Ultra premium. Ultra super premium. Ultra premium line. So. Ultra super. What they did was they took lipstick and they put it on a. Yeah, because that binder's beautiful. Yeah. They put lipstick on a pig. That's a good binder. And they're trying to charge so much money for it. So I think I'm sad. I think I'm sad that somebody's think, trying to. I think you should call them out now. Rip them off. I think you should call them out. Nope. You know what? We'll uh, let's unroll the nine inch. Let's see what. Maybe there's some longer filler in the nine inch. The big old long bastard. Yeah. I don't know if we got enough time for. No, that not now. today. Right. Part two of unrolling the super ultra premium deluxe. The ultra premium. The ultra premium line. That's what you want me to. Super ultra premium deluxe line of cigars. Just throw all the words in there. Well, I was whenever they first came to me with it. But this is, you know, there's a, I've talked on different podcasts about how there's a lot of love in this industry. Well, I heard you talking about bringing a big, and I, I disagree with the name, but whatever. I like the name. I, it's it doesn't, marketing. It doesn't make sense. It does. Doesn't make sense with the line. Doesn't. Doesn't make any sense with the line. So, but, it, well, now it doesn't matter. Right. Now it's not going to matter. I'm not going to put that. I'm not going to put my name on that. Yeah. You know, right. like you get, you get the two outer things that are decent. And then. Well, not for the I mean, if it was cheaper, maybe. Right. If it was like, if it was the price of an Isla del Sol, then right. sure. Right. Why not? Right. But, but it's not, it's $20. Mm-hmm. It's 20. I wouldn't sell that to somebody. Exactly. I wouldn't. I'd be like, no, nah, dude, just buy this Isla del Sol. Right. <laughs> if you're gonna smoke pipe, short filler pipe tobacco. Yeah, just buy this Isla del Sol. When we unwrapped the Isla del Sol, it had a good wrapper, had a good binder. Right. And it had pipe filler. Right. I mean, just short. Which was what you would expect. Right. It's a five, six dollar cigar. Right. Actually, buy, the prices are going up a little bit on it. <clears throat> buy, you know, it, buy a Fuente, buy a Breva. Right. I mean. Yeah, if you're going to, I mean. A Brevo was the same construction. It was a good, it had a good yep. wrapper and binder, and then it was short filler. Yep. Tobacco. And it, but it's a good cigar. And it tastes good. Yeah, it's dollars Yeah. Yeah, $5. Not, not 20 Right. So, you know, and this is, this is somebody who will tell you that he loves you, and he wants to take care of you, wants to help you get there. Oh, I know who it is now. Mm-hmm. I know who it is now. And. Yeah. And. I'd, 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 I mean, if you had asked me. And you'd have said his name, and you'd ask me, I'd have said, fuck that guy. Well. So. And then this is so, what you present. Right. I know who you're talking about now. Yeah. I'm really, uh. Yeah. You're, really talking, s- you're talking about the drummer from Metallica. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm yeah. a little sad. A little sad. Yeah. All right. So we have no timer on this. Uh, if you like shows about nothingness. Right. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. nothing. Just a couple guys smoking cigars and rolling a cigar. Today you got turn, two for... Turn your brain off and just listen to two idiots talk about right. absolutely nothing. I yeah. mean... Uh, this weekend, I really don't see what there is to not like. That was... that was. So I was... I, was, I wasn't offended when the guy said it. No. You know? No. I, I, but... Because, you know, if there's you're going, a reason, if you're going into this, if you're going into into watching this podcast, expecting some kind of self-help, right? You're not getting it. <laughs> you know, if you're going into this podcast, expecting some kind of mechanical knowledge, some one wheel trick uh, tips. Yeah, you're, no, not, you're not getting it. You're not getting it. We'll show you footage of guys crashing on their one wheel. You want to see that? Two. I got that for you. Right. I got so, that for you. I, I, I need to go with your boy. Oh God! With you the do. GoPro, oh, so I and I just I'm gonna follow him the we whole need, time. We need more GoPros, dude. He's hitting the trails now. I showed you a picture of him covered in yeah. mud. I would probably maybe take the skateboard on a trail. It's, yeah. it's obviously not gonna sell. Right. Um. No. Nobody's hitting up. Yeah. I would. I would maybe take that, but I would never take the one wheel through the nature trail. Never. I've walked them. I know that they're not. I know why he crashed so many times. Right. I wouldn't do it. Right. I have no interest in taking that one wheel off road. I, I'm none. Right. So yeah, you didn't even do so well in Florida on the sand. I didn't. Win, I went nowhere on the sand. Right? Did you get down by the water? I know tide was up, but I got down by the water the one time. It but okay and then. I was I was thinking about going again, but I don't want to carry it all the way to the yeah. beach side again. Yeah, dude, all they're the way heavy. To the water side again. I didn't so. like carrying it to the car. I almost started from the front door to the truck. Right. 
So, but uh, what else did I? Oh, this weekend uh, I'm gonna pull have the camper out at uh, Vixen Hill Winery. It's up in Carrollton on Saturday. Um, we're gonna do a the guy's doing his first car show up there. So I'm gonna go up there with uh, with some cigars. <clears throat> Check out the first. It's uh, done just in time. <clears throat> what's that? Your truck. Yeah, yeah, it's done just in time, and I can't thank you enough. It's a different driving truck. So and then uh, and then what else is going on? Hold on. Just watch your sharp turns. That's all. I don't. I still don't make them. I still drive it like a low rider. All right. So this Saturday is that. And then sharp turns are hitting very very bad things. <clears throat> so. Oh, and then so. the weekend of the 29th, 30th, 31st. Uh, well, I think it's just. I don't know if it's Friday and Saturday or Saturday and Sunday. Either way, the last weekend of this month. <clears throat> is uh, uh, the Cigar Summit in Peoria, Illinois. It is up at uh, Jimmy's Bar. So if you love cigar giveaways, this the raffles there are insane. I brought back two boxes of cigars. One of oh, them was, yeah. One of them was signed. The Revenant. Uh, yeah, I brought back the Revenant. And, uh, that's a good cigar. Holy crap, that's a great cigar. And uh, we, were, we were one of the first to get a box. You know what I found for sale online last week? Because every once in a while. And, and then we were the last to get oh, boxes. Yeah. <laughs> I found, because I, I look every once in a while just out of curiosity, I found uh, Venganza's online mm. again. So, so like, somebody's got, somebody, I guess, has, like, back stock, and they're just releasing them again. Or right. Something, yeah, well, they probably haven't moved. $170, though, for, for a box. Who, for buddy. a box. Man, just because they don't make it anymore doesn't mean it's worth something. Right. I like that cigar. It's good. I was going to smoke it today, but you said McMurray wasn't coming on. So. Well, yeah. Well, McMurray's going to bring something, and it might change by the time he gets here next year. So right. Uh, but we'll go. We'll just see what he's got. If he comes next time, I want him to smoke one of these. Um, I'll get Leo some of these when he gets uh, when he gets feeling better from surgery, and then uh, that makes sense. Why it's why it's why it's weird smelling too. Mm-hmm. Now. Just, mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. And it makes the price, everything makes, now that I know who it is, everything makes sense. Right. I remember hearing you say it, too. Right. And I just didn't put it together until just, just yeah. afterwards. Right. Everything makes sense now. The yep. price, yep. The, the everything makes sense now. And I was just hoping it was going to r- blow my mind with the unroll. And it really no. was the binder. Oh, yeah. And, you know, it really was coming apart beautifully. And right. And then. Shit. Yeah. Shake. Shit. Literally sent, sent me shake wrapped up shit so i'm gonna go my dog's on uh non-protein dog food and uh which means it's vegetarian basically why uh because his ears and his ass uh leak yep so we're gonna try some food for about eight weeks and see what happens so dogs have medical i if you wouldn't so how does he get the protein um so it's a different kind of protein it's like a synthesized protein instead of an animal protein so it's supposed to. It's soil it green. Yeah, and it's it, people. And it's green. And his poop will be green here real soon. So it's I'm going to wrap green. up some green turds and uh, save them for St. Patrick's Day so I can throw them at people. So what is parked out front here? I have no idea. Somebody's uh, trying to come in. Looks like Big Mike. Yeah, it's Big Mike. All right. So we're going to end it. He's anyway. going to walk over here and bang on the window. Probably so. All right. 34, like, share, subscribe. Go to the Instagram page so you can see the side-by-side comparisons of what somebody wants us to buy and what we already have, right. which is super deluxe premium. Ultra. Ultra. Yep. Uh, like, share, <clears throat> subscribe. Uh, go to Instagram, Unrolled Cigar Podcast. Unrolled Cigar Podcast on Instagram. Getting some traction, too. I'm always posting on that. Yep. Um, and, uh, yeah, and uh, I mean, especially if you like nothing, nothingness, mm. complete nothingness. If you just want to shut your brain off and enjoy your cigar and maybe have a chuckle here and there. You know I what? Mean, Why don't you comment? If you made it this far, comment nothing. Right. There you and go. And we're going we're gonna to mail you a shirt. Right. Comment nothing. And you're yeah, comment get a shirt. nothing. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna the sp- word nothing. Yep. Because I feel like if you made it this far, you'd, you're not intelligent enough to understand. Right. So just type <laughs> the word nothing in the comments. We're so nice to our viewers, too. <laughs> All right. We're out. Thank you. See ya.